all right guys i wanted to give you a little bit i wanted to give you a little bit of an update not that anybody really cares all right guys well i've been fishing the river i've been fishing the river all right let me give you let me give you an update so all right i've been mainly doing i've been mainly i've been mainly flipping uh, I'm mainly flipping a jig. Uh, the water's been muddy. I'm working. I'm working a rock ledge. Okay. I'm catching them. I'm really catching them two ways. I'm catching them flipping a half ounce booyah boo jig. Black it. It's always black and blue. I don't even think I've tried a pumpkin, green pumpkin, at this point. It's got a rage craw trailer. Uh, when the bite got when the when the bite got tough. I also I switched to a little baby finesse jig with a yum crop poppy trailer. Now that yum crop poppy is a little bit more subtle than the rage craw. Okay, the rage craw, the rage craw has those big has the big flappers on it, which is perfect for that muddy water. Okay, when I I'm slowly pulling that jig into the rocks. Okay, I take up my slack and I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just scraping, I'm just scraping that rock, okay. And uh, that's, it's, it's mainly a reaction strike, okay, that's what it is. Yesterday, I caught a five and a half pound largemouth. Probably on like four, my fourth or fifth, no, I was maybe there for five minutes. I caught a four pounder. I caught the four pounder swimming, swimming the jig. The five and a half pounder came on us on a Texas rigged sweet beaver with a three sixteenths ounce Picasso bullet weight. I really like those bullet weights. The reason why I use those tungsten ones, there's a little bit more tungsten in those. You get a little bit more sensitivity. I remember back in the day, the uh, I think it was the Strike King ones. I think it was 95% tungsten. They're not nearly as good. So, so I'm fishing. I'm using 10-pound line. I'm using 12-pound line on my jig setup. Uh, I'm using 10-pound on the Texas rig, a smaller medium rod. Uh, yeah, what else do I have? I really haven't. I've caught one fish on a MEPS inline spinner. Uh, I'll tell you, the reason why, the reason why I don't fish, the reason why I don't fish cover baits in this spot is because I already know where my fish are. These spots are no bigger than, uh, the front, front hood of your car, Okay. They're very small spots. They're basically isolated rock piles. I already know where my fish are. I don't need to fish a spinnerbait or a crankbait. I'm not saying those things wouldn't work. But when you when you already know exactly, when you've already pinpointed exactly where you know where your fish are, use a soak bait. You Use a reaction strike bait because you already know where they are. You know, if you're fishing a lake and you've got tons of, of places, tons of water to cover, use a bait that you that that allows you to cover water but once you've pinpointed them that's the time to pull out okay you don't need to fish fast work that slow usually the slower the better in that situation all right guys this is my update for now You can subscribe if you want. If not, I'll hunt you down, boy. All right.